What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. It is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon out here. It's actually the warmest day in the state of Michigan that we've had so far. It's like 84 degrees, pretty windy as you guys can probably hear in the mic right now. I apologize for that audio, but we got off of work. It's nearing six o'clock. We probably have two, two and a half hours to fish right now. And I do have this new little nifty device I got here, this little clicker to count how many fish that we're gonna be able to catch here in like two hours of fishing. So guess right now in the comments down below, how many do you think that we're gonna be able to catch? We have two hours, I'd say. How many do you think we're gonna put in the boat? And I'm gonna be counting every single one of this clicker right here. Gonna be the goal of the day, just catch as many bass as we possibly can along with hopefully at least one random giant. And uh, also though, we have to talk about today's video sponsor, Carl's Bait and Tackle, and specifically one of the new features that they have, and that is tackle insurance. Something that I never in my entire life would have thought would have been an actual thing, but think about you know your house, if it burns down to the ground, uh, you're gonna want that protected. If your car gets in an accident, you're gonna want that protected. You have hundreds, if not thousands of dollars worth of fishing equipment. Why would you not also want that protected? So really, really awesome thing they're doing. It's free with your Carl's Club membership. So if you're already a Carl's Club member, you don't have to do anything extra. Uh, there are some stipulations on what lures you could write off and stuff, but basically, like say I throw this little Guggen Squad uh, jerk bait out, this little scout, this is probably what we're gonna start with. And my very first cast, a pike bites it off, my soul dies. Not anymore because I know I could go on Carl's and just file a claim and get a brand new jerk bait for free. So check that out, guys. It's going to be in the link down below. Tackle insurance. I literally cannot believe it, but it's here. It's real. And uh, if you guys want to save some money on baits, uh, Carl's Club is the place to do that as well. 20 to 30 percent off. You get free shipping. It's just one more benefit to add to one of the best tackle based subscription services on the market. So. Check that out, it's all gonna be in the link down below, but without further ado, let's get into the fishing and try to catch as many bass as we possibly can. Okay, I am not gonna lie, the audio is probably gonna be a bit crusty today, like I said, but we're gonna reset our little counter here, back to zero, and we're gonna try to get the first bass of the day, but we're gonna see how many we can rack up. I'm hoping we can catch at least 20 fish. That's gonna be my hesitant goal, but it could be a lot better than that, because this lake, sometimes you could be catching them every single cast, or it obviously could be a lot worse, but, I just hope you guys can hear a little bit of what I'm saying throughout the day because it is gusty outside, but we've got, it looks like low 60 degree water with this giant warm front that we have rolling through. So I think that they are going to be munching big time for us. Nothing on the jerk bait. We are going to try to throw in that bio spawn rattle bot around this flat. See if we can pick up the first one of the day on this. Oh, do we, do we got him? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I mean, I knew we were gonna catch some little bass today, but I did not think the first one was gonna be that small. It literally crushed it so hard too. I thought that it was a decent one and I just missed it. But uh, yeah, that's the first one of the day. And I am kind of embarrassed to show this on camera. This is one of the dinkiest bass I've ever caught. I can't believe it ate that trap. But that was like fifth cast of the day. We are going to get to click the clicker, which is always nice. We got one on the board, but I don't even know if you want to count that as a fish. Hardly. Jeez. Well, there she goes. That was about a, a three-inch bass on the Biospawn Rattlebot. First one, nonetheless, uh, I promise you, we probably will not catch a fish smaller than that all day long. So we have nowhere to go but up from that fish right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to catch a smaller largemouth bass. And we just got smoked in the second cast right there with the trap. Very next cast. There, oh, she got smoked. Second cast with a chatterbait, dude. Just got clobbered. I was about to say, I think if we get bit on this too, it's gonna be a better fish. I don't see us catching any uh, three inches on a chatterbait. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better. Not a big one. That's gonna be a clicker though. That's fish number two for us. Literally three casts with that little jackhammer and little bio spawn exo swim. Fish number two. We're just making our way back into this pocket right here, and it should have some of the warmest water on the lake, being that it's been like over 80 degrees pretty much all day, and the wind is blowing back here as well. And it's shallow, it's a shallow, dirty pocket, so we might see 65 degree water back in here. It's pretty crazy, but it's only like two feet deep, and we're hoping that Big Mama is gonna be chilling up here in these pad stems. Oh, got him. Yes, sir. Number three, another squeaker. Come here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Where the heck did our clicker go? Here she is. Fish number three. 
on the board. We've only been fishing for like six or seven minutes, honestly. Like I said, we're shooting for at least 20 fish, but I mean, it's very possible. We could have a 50 fish day in two hours out here. This is one of the places you could definitely do that, but a lot of them are obviously going to be that size, which I mean, not a ton of fun, but cannot beat coming out after work and catching some fish, especially when you have the chance of catching a big one, possibly. Got him. There's a little better one. Biggest one so far. Oh my. Sorry guys, don't, don't pay any attention to anything that I'm saying about big fish in this video because a lot of these little guys are probably gonna catch me off guard. I thought that that was like a two pounder for a second, jeez. Squeaker, squeaker, but fish number four. Is that a fish? Oh, we got one. Oh my. Wow, that literally felt like nothing. Well, I think that we're gonna kind of make our way out of here. I'm probably gonna fish this bank right here, then we're gonna go move spots and uh, try to find some bigger ones. But that is what, fish number five, I wanna say? Yes, fish number five in the boat. Literally felt like I had absolutely nothing on. So I'm gonna go fish this, move spots, and try to find some fish that uh, are actually worth something because so far the biggest one maybe is like seven inches. Oh, there we go. First one, like second cast out here. Feels like it's probably bigger than seven inches, but probably not by too much. Yeah, maybe an eight incher right there. But that is gonna be fish number, what is that, six? I think it's six. Another little decent guy. Fish number six on the board. Just moved out here and got crushed immediately on that rattle bot. Oh yes, right in that little uh, stutter stop retrieve. Another dink, fish number seven. Probably looking pretty good to hit that 20 mark though, like I said, wanted to catch at least 20 fish. We're already at seven and we've only been fishing for like maybe 20 minutes or so. So definitely catching the quantity. And like I said, the big ones is just gonna be kind of random. It's not like we're gonna catch a ton of two pounders, three pounders, not a lot of big fish happening out here, but we should catch a ton of them though. Oh, got him on the jerk bait. Oh my goodness. All right, we are gonna stop showing bass to the camera unless they're at least like 12 inches long. So fast forward to the first good fish of the day right now. Okay, this is like spot number three. And uh, you guys probably are expecting me to have a three to five pound bass in my hand right now because I told you guys the next clip was gonna be a good one, but we have not caught any good ones. We've caught one, two, three fish total. And uh, that brings our grand total, total to 11 fish and just have not caught any size. So we're gonna go spend the last half an hour back in this channel, try to get a good one on the old chatterbait or maybe on a Senko, something. And also try to hit that 20 fish goal as well. So we're sitting at 11, have not caught any good ones. So you guys did not miss much, but I'm thinking back in this channel, we're gonna have a really, really good shot at catching one of those big pre-spawn females that have moved up and they're starting to get ready to spawn. on the Sanko. First one back in here. So what is that, number 12? Probably took like three or four casts. Already got one. A little bit better, like a eight or nine incher. Probably the second biggest fish of the day. That is fish number 12. Smoke that little Sanko. I do apologize for the small fish video so far, but I truly do believe that any cast we could catch a giant. That's the only reason that I came here and filmed this video. If I did think that we had a chance at a giant, we would not be here right now, so. It's definitely possible, just has not happened. We definitely are losing daylight here. I guess I really didn't take into account how short that we actually had to fish. I think that if we if we had a full day out here, it would be no problem. We definitely would eventually run across a big one, but with like two hours in the water, it is definitely pretty difficult to try to figure them out and uh, just get your bait in front of one of those giants because there's just not a lot in here. There's probably like five giant fish in this lake and that that's it. Like. You just got to hit one of them in the face, and you probably got to fish pretty much the entire lake to find them. Still fun. Like I said, we got out here after work. I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, I'll take these little guys. I obviously am not, you know, super thrilled about catching dinks on dinks, but, but we will take what we can get. I mean, hopefully, like I said, we still have some time. We might catch a big one. It's not out of the question yet. 
Try to get a topwater fish, maybe two here. We've caught a fish in almost every bait, I think, so far. We got one on the trap, got one on the jerk bait, Sanko, and then obviously a couple on the chatter. Yeah, this is the last bait that I brought that we have not caught a fish on yet. That'll be kind of neat. Let's complete the little MTB slam here. I wasn't even trying to do this, but since we've already caught a fish on four baits, might as well try to get a topwater bass. Oh, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby. That's the slam right there, all five baits. Heck yes. If we're gonna catch a dink, we might as well do it on top water. That's about as fun as it gets. When you're catching a little baby bass, I mean, spinning rods can be kind of fun because they can pull some drag, and then top water, obviously, you get to see them blow up on it, but pretty much, if we're catching fish this size on like a chatter bait, it feels like absolutely nothing, but that is fish number what, 13? Unlucky number 13 on the top water. We will take it all day long. Seven more fish, and we're gonna have that goal of 20. Come on, baby. Such a short amount of time on the water. I mean, 20 fish is actually not too shabby. We're obviously not catching Mondasauruses, but 20 fish is 20 fish. Oh my gosh, that was a cool blow up. That was like two casts later. Heck yes, dude. We might get into a little, uh, little bunch of them back in here. They want that top water, 60 degree water. They are freaking getting fired up. Here we go. Number 14, just like that, like two casts later. Click the clicker. That little blooper doing work. Come on, baby. Let's get 15, it's right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. They are crunching the top water. It is number 15. Oh wow, I like didn't even really get a pop on that one. What is that, number 16? Come on, baby. There she goes, little dink. Where the heck's my clicker? Number 16. We are uh, getting pretty close to that goal. 20 fish, like I said. That is what we wanted. Oh, missed it. Fish missed it. That was like a big wake actually too. Maybe it's a big old Bessie. Flip the Senko in there. Didn't look big when it blew up, but the wake that came out of that dock right there looked pretty freaking large. Oh, dude, how are they missing it? That was probably the biggest one of the day, and by biggest one, I mean, that was maybe pound, pound and a half. Wasn't like a giant, but probably at least a 14 incher, give or take. What a vicious strike. How the heck did she not get it in her mouth? Come on, come on, baby. Here we go, finally. We went like 0 for 3 in the last couple of bites. That one looked bigger than she was, though. I thought that was going to be like a one or two pounder. Come on. They're biting it so ferociously. When they're attacking this top water, it's over, man. All these fish look bigger than they are. I guess, like I said, if you're going to catch small ones, this is the bait to do it on because it makes it actually pretty fun. So what is that, 17? Getting pretty close to, uh, to nighttime here. Need at least three more. Need to not miss any more opportunities, too. We should already have 21 right there. Those last three that we miss would have already had it. Come on, baby. Little guy. There he is. What is that? 18 fish on the day. Oh, sorry, buddy. There he goes. Two more. Two more till we hit 20. Oh my god, it was a big one. It was a freaking big one. No. Please come back. That was our chance, dude. That was at least a three pounder, I feel like. Gosh, that was a nice fish. Took her whole back out of the water, crushed it, and somehow missed that dang popper. Oh my gosh. Now we're all tangled up. 
was the one that we freaking needed right there. That was the bite that we were after all day long. Oh gosh, I was going to reel in and make another cast, heck yes. Number 19, we are getting to about the end right here, so we are kind of running out of time. I'm probably only gonna fish to the end and then we're gonna crank our way out of here, so. We need to get at least one more bite. That is fish number 19, right there, skinny little dude. We've not got bit in quite a while. Starting to get really worried, but one more bite and we'll have 20 fish in the boat for a nice little quick afternoon session. One more stinking bass that has to commit to this thing. On that note right there, we are gonna wrap up today's video. I apologize for the lack of big fish catches. Like I said, I really, really thought we were gonna get at least one big bite, and right there at the end, we did miss one that was like probably a 16, 17 incher, solid right around three pounder, and she just came up, hold back out of the water, miss the dang topwater bait and uh, that just is kind of the nature of topwater fishing especially you know kind of fir first thing early in the season a lot of those fish aren't going to quite want to commit but we did have quite a few absolutely kill it so it was a little fun bite here in the last 30 minutes caught you know a total of 19 fish in the day did not hit that 20 goal and uh, we did catch one crappie in that 19 fish as well but i figured i might as well count that since it was as big as most of the bass that we were catching anyway so 19 fish 18 bass one crappie and I uh, had a good time on the water, but I apologize, like I said, one more time for no big fish, and uh, we should have some big fish videos in the near future here, and a lot more tournament videos coming your way, which they're my favorite ones to film. You guys seem to like them the most, so a lot more tournaments in the near future. And uh, last thing too, if you guys wanna check out today's video sponsor, Carl's, you can get some tackle insurance, and next time you snap off a jerk bait on a pike, you're not gonna wanna jump off a bridge quite as much because you're gonna be able to get a brand new one. So check all that out in the link down below. But thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.